Hi everyone! Today, we're going to take a look at the best Raspberry Pi cases in the market for this year. First, we're going to show you our top 8 best picks, and we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a Raspberry Pi cases. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started! At the first position of our list, we have Argon Neo. With most Raspberry Pi cases, there's a significant trade-off to make between protecting your Pi, having professional looks, and offering access to the all-important GPO pins. Argon's Neo case lets you have your Pi and connect it to. The Argon Neo is an attractive gunmetal gray aluminum on its top and sides, with a shiny black plastic bottom. An aluminum plate covers the surface of the Raspberry Pi 4 and uses an included thermal pad to bond the CPU and RAM to the metal for passive cooling. However, there are generous cutouts in this plates for the GPO pins and the CSI slash DSI ports. You can easily fit a standard size hat on the Argon Neo without the need for an extender or a ribbon cable. There's even a little nook on the right side of the case above the USB ports where you can prop up a Raspberry Pi camera module. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Pimoroni Pibo Coop 4. If your priority is ease of access to the GPO pins, you can add a hat. Raspberry Pi 4. Pimoroni's Pibo Coop could be your best choice. The coop is not completely sealed on top, so it leaves the GPO pins completely unobstructed and provides enough room to run cables to both the camera and display CSI ports. If you like a dash of color, the rainbow colored version. It also comes in red and ninja aka black shades and will brighten up your desk. The Pippo Coop doesn't come with any cooling solution, but the CPU isn't covered by anything so you can attach a heatsink, a fan hat, or Pimoroni's own fan shim. Our favorite of these choices, which just slides over the first 12 GPO pins, but allows you to put a hat on top of it. Pimoroni's colorful plastic case is put together in layers that you stack carefully around the pie and then screw together, which means that you have to disassemble the entire case to remove the computer from it. It also leaves part of the top surface of the pie and the side area around the ports open to the air, which means it doesn't protect or hide your pie as much as many other cases. That's a worthwhile trade-off for easy access to all the pins and connectors. There are also similar Pibble models for the Raspberry Pi 3B+, 3A+, and Pi 0, slash 0W, and Pimoroni offer replacement bases which are LEGO compatible for use in your build hat projects. The number 3 position is held by official Raspberry Pi 0 case. While we're underwhelmed by the official Raspberry Pi case for Raspberry Pi 4, it may protect the Pi but it fails to keep the Pi cool even with the well-designed cooling provided by the official fan kit. The Pi Foundation's official case for Pi Zero is an excellent choice. The plastic case is made from red and white plastic that match the official Raspberry Pi color scheme so purists will be happy with the aesthetic. However, what really stands out on the Raspberry Pi Zero case is its removable lid. The kit comes with three lids, one that's completely skilled, another with the GPO pins exposed, and a third with a round hole specifically for mounting a camera. A small camera ribbon cable is also bundled case so you can easily connect the camera module and have it peer out the hole without leaving lots of slack cable inside. If you want to have a simple camera that you can carry or even use as a Raspberry Pi body camera, the official Raspberry Zero case is for you. It also provides a nice and stylish way to protect your Pi Zero while still having solid access to the GPO pins. However, you'll probably need an extender if you wish to put a hat on over the case. Next at number 4, we have SmartAPI Touch 2. The SmartAPI Touch 2 allows you to combine Raspberry Pi's official 7-inch touchscreen with a camera module and just about any Raspberry Pi board, except the Zero to create an awesome kiosk-style device. You mount the official touchscreen in the SmartAPI Touch, which provides a space on the back to screw on your Pi and a camera hole as well. Once put together, the SmartAPI Touch 2 can live on a table where you can adjust its angle up or down and slash or use screws to permanently attach it to a surface. It even has space on the back for an optional VESA mount. The camera area of the front comes with three different faceplates, one that has room for the camera on this flat, one that has no camera hull, and one that has a camera hull but also LEGO compatible studs you can build on. When it comes to protecting the Raspberry Pi itself, you have a few choices. The SmartAP Touch 2 comes with a fan cage that you can snap in place over the Pi, or plane, 
black fanless cover with a hole for GPO pins. Or you could do what we did and screw the pie in but forego the covers, so you have plenty of room to attach a hat as needed. The number 5 position is held by Retro Flag Nespy Case. It's easy enough to install RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi and run old school Nintendo games at home. However, it helps the overall experience to get a case that looks the part. The Retro Flag Nespy looks just like an old fashioned Nintendo Entertainment System console from the 1980s, but inside, there's room for Raspberry Pi 2 or 3. Pi 4 owners will have to look elsewhere. Where most Raspberry Pi cases are designed with holes that perfectly correspond to the USB port locations, the Retro Flag Nespy uses a series of internal port extenders to please the ports and locations that are more appropriate for a console. Two USB ports sit on the front where you'd expect controllers to attach while another two plus USB plus Ethernet sit in the cartridge slot. There are real power and reset buttons, with the power button offering safe shutdown, rather than just yanking the power. The main drawback we found is that it was a real challenge to squeeze our Raspberry Pi 3B Plus into it, connect all the tiny cables inside, and get it to line up with the screw holes. The bundled instructions add to the confusion. There's easy access to the Micros card slot. But forget about attaching anything to the GPO or CSI slash DSI connectors. Retroflag sells different versions of this case with some including a fan and slash or controllers. The number 6 position is dominated by Silverstone Pitwo. If you are looking for a passively cooled case for your Raspberry Pi powered home server, then Silverstone's Pitwo should be on your shopping list. This all-aluminum case comes in two pieces which slot on top of one another. Inside the lower piece are four raised screw points used to secure the Raspberry Pi 4 to the case and prevent the Pi from slipping and shorting. The top section of the case has a series of stylized fins which aid in the removal of heat and provide a certain industrial aesthetic. Inside the case, and with the Raspberry Pi 4 secured in place, we use adhesive thermal pads to connect aluminum heatsinks from the CPU and USB chip to the case. In doing so, the heat from the board is spread to the top layer of the case, using the fins to increase the efficiency of the heat removal process. The Silverstone Pitwo is a case for those they wish to use their Raspberry Pi 4 as a desktop computer or as a server. It provides great cooling, and while it may not look fancy, it does have a robust, industrial look to it. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Retroflag GPI case. If you've ever wished you could play on a Raspberry Pi Zero like you play on a Nintendo Game Boy, the Retroflag GPI case will absolutely make your wish come true. Aside from the Pi Zero itself and Micros card, the GPI case comes with everything you need to create a portable, handheld gaming experience. You just attach a Raspberry Pi Zero or Zero W to a little box that looks like an old school Game Boy cartridge and then plug it into the case, which has a 2.8 inch chip screen along with the D-pad, four game buttons and select slash start buttons. It also features a headphone jack for easy audio out and an on slash off switch that can provide safe shutdown for your Raspberry Pi. Like an old-school handheld game system, the GPI case uses a set of 3 AW batteries and, in our experience, the device can go for hours on a charge. Though you don't have access to GPO pins or video out, you can swap the Micros card when you remove the cartridge section. The GPI case really lives up to its potential, but keep its form factor and the limitations of the Pi Zero mean that you won't want to play high-end games from other consoles uh, X, Nintendo 64 on it. The number 8 position is held by Argon 1 M2. The Argon 1 M2 is a stylish but large piece of kit which measures 100 Fordham long, 93 m wide, and Fordham tall. It looks like a prop from Star Trek and is made with an aluminium top piece and a plastic lower section where an M2 SATA hard drive can be installed and connected to a USB 3 port on the Raspberry Pi 4 via a custom USB connector. The Pi 4 is placed sideways inside the case, and a custom circuit board is used to break out the micro HDMI and composite ports to the chassis. There is another custom circuit board inside the case, and this contains a small 5 of cooling fan and a USB-C port to power the Pi 4. All of the ports are located at the back, thanks to the custom circuit board and novel orientation of the Pi 4. There is also a power button that allows for power on and safe shutdown. A magnetic hatch on the top of the case provides access to the GPO, a color-coded GPO with all the pin references printed on the case. 
Hats can be used with the case, but you may need to use a header extension to ensure that the board clears the aluminium top of the Argon 1M2. Just next to this GPO hatch is a small slide useful to route the Pi camera and official display cables through. This case provides great cooling, easy access to the GPO, and provides a simple means to add reliable SATA mass storage. The form factor is stylish if perhaps a little too big. The Argon 1M2 is superb. And if you need great cooling, SATA storage, and access to the GPO in a stylish package, this is a good choice. That's all for today. We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.